Hello, hello to the amazing people, the Niamir here, and welcome to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. Also, welcome to the channel. I play a long series of games I really enjoy, so find your favorite playlist, watch it, enjoy it, maybe even like and subscribe, that would be amazing. I'm uh, doing a playthrough with the uh, main character of Shadowheart, the cleric worshipper of Shore. And uh, if you want to watch it from the start, you can find the playlist in the comment and okay. description below. What's with the loot? You might say, well, we are disguising ourselves as a traveling performers. Nobody would uh, guess that we are the chosen ones to save the world or whatever. Anyhow, uh, Will here even hit his horns by doing a little bit of a disguise spell. And you can't even tell that she has a horn because, well, maybe just a tiny bit. It looks like hair though, so yeah, anyhow, last time we uh, had a close meeting with uh, Raphael here and I was thinking that it spawned here, up here when we got here, but no, because Katarina, one of our viewers, told us that for her, Raphael actually spawned when she was crossing one of these two bridges, I believe, this one, I guess, and yeah, so it might be timed. Do you know when and how and why does it spawn? Let me know in the comments below. So, I still want to explore a little bit. I don't think we can go here. So if you check these black lines, they they make the difference between the area where you can and can't walk. So I don't see any lines here that would suggest we can get in here. So yeah, we can go here and we were here. This is where we landed actually. But last time I noticed that we could go here. So we're gonna go and see what is here over the water. So in order for that to work, we're gonna need to teleport here. And then once we're done exploring, we're gonna head to the goblin camp finally. Um, <laughs> I'm not delaying that on purpose. It's just that I wanna explore every little bit nook and cranny. If you wanna see a playthrough where, well, I'm gonna be exploring a lot and you are the right place. If you wanna watch a playthrough which will finish this game in like super fast, fast pace, well then well, I'll you are the wrong place, I'm afraid. Maybe my second playthrough, I don't know, we'll see. I hope this game to be... I think we're here, right? Ooh, nice. But we cannot go down there, we're gonna have to jump. There we go. Good. Uh, right. Well, I totally forgot, I'm exploring and I have guidance on. Well, we're concentrating on Fox Cunning right now. Okay, Astarion, then... Uh, you can cast your own guidance. <laughs> so nice to have two guidances. Oh, there's something here. Nature successful. Oh, a scuffed rock. Okay. Can't be added to inventory. Oh, we already had this problem. Uh, anyone strong enough? No. Oh, this is so annoying. How do we deal with this thing? Maybe we need to explore it? We only have like this one option here. Can't throw too heavy. Maybe if you jump on it. I don't know. Uh, oh, maybe we can attack it. No, 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 don't cast that. Can we attack it? Ha! Huh! We can't even examine the thing. Uh, who hits for a lot? And also, why are not with the group? Oh, yeah, we need your axe. We need your axe building. Expertise. Uh, nope, can't do. Okay. Improvised melee weapon. Can't be used as improvised melee weapon. Can we push it? Well, it says successful, but it's too heavy. Like this is this is so annoying. It's like ah, this this damn rock. Like. <sighs> Oh crap. No, wait, what? <laughs> oh my. <God>. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is like. I would never expect this from a Baldur's Gate 3 game. Like, for real now? You drag and drop it? Why is there not a contextual menu to move it around? Oh boy. This doesn't feel... That's am That's both amazing and super confusing for me. This is not what I expected. Well, 
So for a moment there, I was nervous. I was clicking my mouse, mouse around like an idiot. And for a moment, I saw a little bit of, you know, drag and drop thing. Uh, it's actually pretty... Well, every day learns something new in this game. Harper's map. A map that's seen better days, but recent additions suggest it's still in use. Okay. Uh, right, let's give the map to Shadowheart. Let's give the book. Harper's notebook. Various accounts of impiety and blasphemy among locals all bound in one wrecked book. Oh, dude. I'm so happy that we figured out the rock, but I'm still a little bit bedazzled by this. Oh, you know what? We should go and check out the other small rock that we found earlier. We can also... Oh, it's such a nice little chest, though. Oh, that's gonna be nice for jewelry back in the camp. But anyway, uh, let's put this into the camp. Let's read the books. Uh, this is crazy. This stained, racked map has passed through countless hands. A little harp marks an area called Moonrise Towers with a small inky crescent sketch in the nearby forest. Below this crescent is a more recent scroll. Cash. Okay. A tattered collection of reports held together with a moon and a harp seal. There are frequent mentions of sacrilegious activity among the little Selenite sect. Oh, right. Oh, right. So we cannot carry... Can you move it, Shadowheart? Are you strong enough? Oh, Shadowheart can also move it. How about you, Astarian? Not enough strength. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Okay. Would be funny if I accidentally clicked on that with the star and be like, not enough strength. I was like, okay, that's so nice. Okay, let's go and check out the other... Oh, what's that? Wait, what? What in the world is that now? Oh, is that... Wait, what? Is that what we just found out? No. I mean, I was up there already. Didn't see if it's find anything. Did this thing just reveal ourselves? Because we did the... We found the... The Harper's lockbox just now. Oh, this game. This game, dude. Like... I'm happy that my exploration is getting rewarded, though. Like, sometimes in games, it doesn't. And, like, at the start of this game, I was a little bit worried because I was, like, lockpicking chests which didn't have nothing in them and stuff like that. But then... It started getting a little bit better. A lot better, actually. We're still in the start of the game. <laughs> so... A hidden cache, but I was up here already. Wait. Watch your back. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, somebody's a little bit confused. Okay. Yeah, no. Wait, what in the world? It's gone? Dude, there was a mark here showing a hidden cache, and now it's gone? I guess I already picked it up. I mean, that makes sense, right? Okay. Well, game's just trolling me now. So I found the cash before I found the cash. Just shows how brilliant I am, right? Oof, I should not be saying that. I should not be saying that. Usually when you say stuff like that, uh, it bites you in your juicy behind. Or not so juicy behind, I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to, ch to, to try it, so... No, 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 don't, don't, no, ah, no, no, <laughs> oh, poor Astarian, well, by the time I realized what I have done, it was too late, well, now, I wanna go, where was it, it was somewhere up here, the reason road, yeah, it was somewhere up here. I wish I could speed it up. Be like, move faster. Move even faster. Yeah, it's like this place. Okay, we're actually quite far away. 
Mm. Mm. Okay, then through here maybe I'll down there. So we need to go to the village and on the east side, as long as the map is oriented north, south, east, west. On the east side of the village there should be like this thing that I can probably move the rock and find something below. I'm not expecting to find such nice treasures like last time, but like I just did, but it's gonna be good enough, I suppose. I suppose. Oh, hello. Shadowheart, you've missed a book. You've missed a book. Lessons for sensible living for cities and how to survive them. I'm pretty sure I already read that. The first page summarizes the contents, the remaining pages clumsy little buried on them in great detail. On the note, going to cities, the simplest piece of advice for sensible folk is to avoid cities entirely. Well, I'm doing very good at that. On marketplaces, people often tell me, Harrington, my fleeces and turnips are worth more in a city market than at the local village fair. Fools. To them I say, your fleeces and turnips will be robbed long before you reach the market square and you will have only a few lumps of and bruises to take home. 3. On taverns, all sensible folk enjoy draining a mug of locally produced ale in the company of their friends. But some of you may have heard tell of the extravagant taverns, taverns that populate the cities of the Sword Coast. If body names like the Blushing Mermaid or the Wizard Stave stuff were not sufficient warning. <laughs> the Blushing Mermaid, well that sounds like a nice place. This is safe for no sufficient warning of their impropriety. Let it be known that you will be robbed long before you finish your first tankard and will have only a few lumps and bruises for company. Four and sewerage. Be like you keep a pot by your bedside and cast out the leavings into a communal pit of a worn, sensible and cleanly behavior. Many cities have dispensed with such simple methods of hygienic living and instead the waste of the inhabitants coming less and flows through great channels beneath the very streets, a breeding ground for mucky creatures. On becoming lost, cities are far too large and you will become lost almost immediately. A fellow once told me that Baldur's Gate is actually three cities in one, an outer, an inner and an upper. I believe he thought I'd be impressed but I simply spat in his eye and sent him on his way. Harrington the Nettolin. Well, I guess the dude's just a little bit salty because he got pickpocketed. I mean, he should have been more careful. You know? Ah, don't worry. I'm the one who will be doing all the pickpocketing. So I shouldn't worry too much. Anyway, this is where we found the little rocky rock, right? Uh, this is... great. That's insane. Okay, well. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> Parchment, scroll of protection, potion of feather fall, an extra room for cane cultivation, gain additional level one spell slot, replaces effects from other elixirs when drunk. Wow. For real? That seems insane. Is this permanent? Wow! Okay, that's really nice. Let's see what the parchment says. The black silhouette of a winged serpent marks the top of this page. As always, take what you need, but soak it up after. This is for everyone. Oh, really? Well, it would be rude of me not to restock it, right? I mean, it would be super... There we go, a nice sleeping bag, a nice backpack, a piece of rope, I don't know, a bowl, maybe some food. There you go, some sausages for a hungry adventurer like you. There you go, some clothes, I should appreciate it. Some eggs, by the time you find them, they might be rotten, but they were surely not rotten eggs, no. Maybe a healing potion. There you go. There you go. Fair trade. I I would say, right? Okay. Oh, but <laughs> let's not forget. No, not there. There. Good enough. Nope. Come on. No, you can't close it properly. Well, hopefully nobody will notice it. Uh, there you go. Bam. Good. Okay, let's move on. So, hmm. Oh, fuck. 
I need to leave their instructions for the next person that comes along. How silly of me. Otherwise it's gonna end up empty. <laughs> uh, the most important part I almost forgot. <laughs> Wait. Dude. No, I did the wrong way around yet again, but we can also move this thing, yay. There we go, take what you need, but stock it up after. Wait. You don't need all four ropes. Uh, there we go. And one sausage will do. There you go. Bam, okay. Next stop. Uh, yeah, I think I think we need to go across the bridge now. Nothing else to do. Okay, we can also go down here. Where was the Where was the bear cave? What is this place? Seems very well. Oh, this is where we got up there. Okay, kind of didn't explore this area here-ish, so we could go and do that now. I am a little bit scuffed, that's for sure. I do have my short rest left, so we can always do that. No, I'm not expecting... I'm expecting, like, people. <laughs> I'm expecting people. Um, so this is where Raphael came to... Katrina. Oh, the whole screen changed the, its hue. Okay, 60 experience, yay. Okay, anything here? Not that I can see. Nope, okay, let's go here. Oh, it's a rock, can we move it? No. Oh yeah, a starion. Oh, it's an automatic save. Are we walking into trouble here? We might just be, we might just be. Now, I kind of want to explore this area. Oh, hello. Hello. General Kenobi. Why can't we... Okay. Ah, nothing super special. Alright. Oh, what's that? Nothing? Okay, there's definitely a village here of some kind. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to Lazelle if you're gonna be, you know, fighting and stuff. Vacant as an orc skull. What the f hell is going on in here? Well... Is this a mill? Like, you know, that stone that's like a donkey pushes around and... It doesn't sound quite like that. Okay, I think there's gonna be like a fight in here. Okay, let's uh, let me think. Let's let's switch around for uh, for Lazelle, I believe. Um, yeah, 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 definitely. Um, okay. Right. So, uh, will. What is this? Toggle group mode? No. What is this? Toggle group hide? No. How can we like switch people more easily? Oh, by the way, do you have anything important on you? Oh, you have the amulet of lost voices. Now, that's kind of an important item. And shapeshifter's boon ring. Mm. I mean, we can always bring him back to the group where when we need to like talk with people okay will guide me. all right all right Got to press on. Uh... 
Do you know like a better the way? With the silver oh. Tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. Hmm. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach. Oh, snap. Daughter. That's painful. We can learn a lot from fairy tales. Don't you think? With the right teacher, yes. What are your thoughts on the devil, Will? Get to the point? You mean, Raphael, we should at least consider his offer, given our circumstances? Spare me the parables, I've no intention of bargaining with the likes of him. Interesting coming from someone who's already been ensnared by a devil. Uh, with the right teacher, yes. What are your thoughts on the devil, Will? Refuse him, no matter how tempting the offer. <laughs> no matter how delicious the feast he lays out for you. The cost's always too great. He spoke of a cure. <laughs> refuse him like you refused me, Zora. Only you didn't, did you? Well, let's learn. Let's learn from Will's mistakes here, right? Like it's not. It's not being a hypocrite. It's talking from experience, right? Like if I was in Will's place and I made such a grave grave mistake, then I would also warn people not to do it. And I would say that strengthens his argument, not weakens it. Because he knows what he's talking about. Don't worry, I have no inter So, although I do want to be practical, I don't think this is the sort of practicality we're looking for. Don't worry, I have no interest in Devil's Deal. Not because I'm a good person or anything, Shadowheart is definitely not good. But it's because, well, I'm just gonna stay away from bad individuals. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. Don't worry, Will. I'll gladly you give you away. You give up anything for a cure. <laughs> but the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Dude, like, I, I solved it. See? No horns anymore, yeah? Don't complain. Well met. well met. I need you to wait here for a little bit. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. That's okay. And just when things were warming up. Don't worry. I need somebody who's and uh, there there they are, horns again. Uh looks so nice and fabulous. Well you really do. Okay, Lazelle. Oh look at that. So the game defaults back to showing helmets when people go back to the camp. Hope they can fix that. Raphael flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. Oh, nice. Kitrak, what does that mean? Well, we have no dragons at our disposal now, I'm afraid. <laughs> I found Raphael rather impressive, and if you didn't, uh, he might lead us to a cure, show him some respect just in case. No, no, no. I agree with Lazelle here. Githyanki knights, the riders that chase the Nautiloid. They are the commissars and enforcers of my queen. Oh, so from the start of the game, those were Githyanki? bestows no greater honor. To wield a Kithrak silver sword is my destiny. I will earn my queen's favor, and I will conquer every layer of hell should she command it. Why were these knights chasing the Mind Flare ship? The are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase, to penetrate the hells. This is unusual. But mm. I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Blackest sight pierces the many planes. All right, all right. Speak. Uh, let's move. It is done. Okay, first we're gonna remove well, that well, ugly well. helmet. There we go. Oh, we should probably hear what the rest has to say about the devil. What do you think, Gale? I mean, scribe. Our. Uh... Do you feel as flattered as I do? 
invited to dine with a devil. <laughs> Maybe next playthrough, Gale. Succeeded, Arcana. You have a strange definition of flattery. Dining with a devil left a bad taste in my mouth. No, we didn't dine him with him. Devils rarely approach mortals without some nefarious intent. We'd be wise to avoid him. You have a strange definition of flattery. That was a devil's equivalent of serenades and roses. Oh, okay. Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. All I'm hearing is conjecture, but what does the devil wants to so badly? Okay, what does he our want? Souls. But I suspect that's but his opening offer. Let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. Interesting. If one quality, all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition. Quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. I'm the foggiest. But, based on the evidence before us, we can make certain deductions as to why he sought out our... <laughs> Todd Pulse, maybe? Just maybe? <laughs> Fact one, there's something very yeah. strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it. Along with our tab poles. Interesting. So we say for now. We wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. Interesting. Perhaps we should. Oh. Useful for spying threats from afar, I suppose. Oh, can't use it? I oh, can't use it. Okay. Okay, who else didn't we talk about this thing with Karlak and then Astarian, right? What do you say, Karlak, about the devil thing? Can't believe that devil just took us into the hells with a snap of his fingers. If I see him again, I'll wring his neck. He seemed to have a solution for a thought pulse. Uh, I'd enjoy watching that. I'd enjoy watching that. I knew I liked you. Yeah, yeah. Raphael was his name, right? He's trying to lure us into a game he knows we can't win. Mm. I'm not playing. Glad you're not either. Well, you never know. You and Mizora seem to know each other. How? Consider telling Karlak. Okay, you and Mizora? We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. Her by choice, me by force. In the grand scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure, I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. But she favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Mizora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. I can see why you were so keen to escape. No kidding. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. It had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. Do you think she'll keep coming after you? I don't know. You think she'd have more important things to do? Devils and their pride. All right. Thank you for your insight, Karlak. Astarion! <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. <laughs> we have to cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, he's not. We'll have the options. But all that, take your time, I'll wait, nonsense. He's playing with us. Gazador, my old master, liked to toy with people too. Let them think there was hope right until the end. He looks a little bit bruised up. He snatched it away. Creatures like them don't play games. 
unless they know they can win. So what do we do? We keep hunting for answers. What are the choice do we have? Mm. This is no ordinary mind flare parasite. Who tampered with it and why? It's destiny. What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. Per chance, per chance. I wonder if I do a short rest here. And then talk with him. I suppose you want Is the Bruce gone? Uh, he said he was your master? My old master. Before the mind flayers took me from him. Before this strange, twisted freedom. Kazdor Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate. The patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. Not political power or military power. I mean power over people. The power to control them completely. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. And he became my tormentor. 200 years ago? Dude. Astarion was alive, right then? No, how long is this after Baldur's Gate 1 and 2? 100 years? 1000 years? Not him, no. A gang of thugs attacked me. Angry about a ruling that I'd handed down as magistrate. Oh. They beat me to death's door when Kazador appeared. He chased them off and offered to save Oh, so he saved your life. Eternal life. Given that my choices were eternal life or... <laughs> How practical of you, Astarian. I took him up on the offer. It was only afterwards I realized just how long eternity... A 200 years is not eternity, dude. Uh, not a good master, I take it? He had me go out into Baldur's Gate to fetch him the most beautiful souls I could find. It was a fun little ritual of his. I'd bring them back and he'd ask if I wanted to dine with him. And if I said yes, he'd serve me a dead, putrid rat. Of course, if I said no, he'd have me flayed. Hard to say which was worse. Hmm. Uh, you're free now. Enjoy your freedom. I will, but I won't take it for granted. The mind flayers aren't the only monsters out there, and they might not be the only ones hunting us. All I'm asking is that you keep your eyes open and watch out for anything lurking in the shadows. Sure, I'll watch your back. Don't worry. You keep me safe and I'll do the same. What nice. More could I ask? Now is that all? Sure. What do you make of Raphael's deal? I won't lie. It's tempting. If I keep the tadpole, I risk transforming into a grotesque monster. If I lose the tadpole, Casador has control of me, body and soul. And I return to the shadows. Hmm. It's grim either way. So why not sell what's left of my soul to a <laughs> Better he has it. There must be a third way, Astarian. We have other options, better options. Uh... Figuring out what's happening to us, confronting a god called the Absolute, and then finding time to kill my old master before he can control me once more. Well, yeah. Yes, that's an option, but I wouldn't bet eternity. Well, you have eternity, so. Alright. Oh. Right. Okay. Um. Okay, and now we have to see what's inside the shack. I'm way too curious. <sighs> smell that. Fresh forest air. I smell only fear. The fear of cowards lying in wait for an ambush. It doesn't make sounds anymore. You can take a day off once in a well, while time to enter it. As you approach, a guttural scream and a succession of quick bangs rattle the door. Then, it's... a low moan. <laughs> Someone or something 
is having a bit of Are fun. there oxes inside having sex? What in the world? Open the door. Wait, don't interrupt them. Let me do it. They sound What disgusting. in the world? <laughs> uh Okay, sure, Astarian. I'll uh, I'll let you do it. Just, I didn't mean to interrupt. You're making a lot of noise. I want to join the fun. Back away slowly. Attack the couple. Well, I had some idea this might be happening. Uh, I just didn't expect this kind of scene. <laughs> You're making a, a lot of noise. I want to join the fun. Well, I'd, I don't think Karlak's gonna like that one. Um, back away slowly. Well, uh, so that just happened. Grukoch and but here. All right. Uh, mangled corpse. So you killed a poor dude, and then you had sex on top of his uh, still fresh body. Well, okay. So this is a level 3, oh, it, he's a bugbear. I wanted to call them orcs. I'm such a racist, I would call everything orcs these days. Uh, you know what, let's do this next episode. Oh boy, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to do another video, although I'm very tempted. I mean, surely we'll be fine. Only 76 HP, level 4. We already killed two level 5s. Well, we had help with one of them anyway. Well... Cool. Well, make sure to join us next time. So this uh, unhappy lady, she didn't get what she wanted and now she's pissed. And... Uh, <laughs> oh, Larian, Larian. All right, I, I forgive you for all the tiny little things that I don't like about this game. This is, this is kind of really, really amazing. Anyhow. Uh, sorry for leaving you here. Hopefully enjoyed the episode nonetheless. Lots of story and well, action picks up again. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, we finally fix figured out how to do the rocks thing. So that's pretty good. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Do something nice. Be kind to each other. And let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of Baldur's Gate 3. The Neomer signing out. Bye-bye. <laughs>